in this video we have this particular tree here but it is not on a flat ground it's on a slope as you can see it is standing on a slope what do i mean by that this stick here the our reference stick the diameter i mean breast size stick if you put it on this side of the slope this is where your diameter measurement will be it will show you that diameter should be measured here but if you put it on the other side of the slope, it will tell you that the diameter is to be measured here. And so, I want to illustrate that very clearly. Uh, I need a cutlass to do that illustration. Thank you. So, look at it here. If I'm here, then that means I will measure my diameter at breast height here. At this point here okay this point here very clear yes very clear now if I bring the stick here it's telling me that my diameter of breast size should be measured here can you see the difference between the two between here and here so if somebody measures tree measures the diameter and measures it from this point the person will measure diameter here and tell you oh, this tree this is the diameter at breast height yet another individual that decides to measure from this point will also get a different reading and tell you oh, this is the diameter at breast height and you'll be wondering how can the same tree have two different diameter at breast height that is not possible so in forest measurement the standard practice when you encounter a tree that is on a slope is to measure it from the uphill side that is the standard so the correct measurement would be from here the uphill side not the downhill side so of these two locations this is the correct position from where you are to measure your diameter at breast height because that is from the uphill position not from the downhill position so if i'm to measure this i have to stand here at the hop hill side put my stick there to determine that height level and i'll measure diameter that way that is the correct way to handle trees that are on a slope so i believe with that i've covered the essential things that relates to measuring diameter at breast height position again don't forget i said the, the tape must be perpendicular to the tree axis what i mean by that again is this just to illustrate it it should be this way perpendicular to the tree axis i must ensure that always that is perpendicular that way not a situation where it sags this way i mean sorry it goes this way so if i measure this way you see that from my end here the tape is at upper level here is at a lower level that is that will be very wrong so i must make sure it is perpendicular to the tree axis always if it's a leaning tree, if it leans that way, I must make sure it remains perpendicular to that tree axis. And then in measuring with the tape, also you must ensure that there is no twist. Because for some people, in measuring, you have this situation here, and the tape goes this way. And you realize that it has twisted. That will also lead to error in measurements, you see. So make sure there is no twist. Make sure also that it does not sag, you see, like this. It must be firm. It shouldn't sag that way. That will, that will give you erroneous reading. Make sure it is firm. So that th those are the things you should take note of when you are measuring diameter at breast height. In the next video, we'll look at how to 
measure height of trees. Join you in the next video.